Hi everyone. Hi everyone. How are you? Uh, can you hear me loud and clear? Mic check one two one two. Let me see if if you can hear me, and if if you can, please write something so I can start. Well, um, perfect, great, thank you. Well, let's let's start. Um, first of all. Thank you for being and spending some time here together. Um, the idea of this uh, quick one-to-one um, -one or meeting is that um, you can guys ask any questions you want related to the travel sacks, okay? And we have also some news that we want to share with you guys. And and yeah, it's it's gonna be a thirty minutes Q and A um, uh, Q and A let's say, yeah, uh, time. Okay. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's jump into it. So first of all, we wanted to, to share with you guys that we are working with, we have a very important goal on our company, which is trying to get as inclusive as possible in the full, um, pro uh, process of building a saxophone and not just building it also uh trying to to get as as to as many um people as possible right so we are now uh you know that we are working on an, an adaptive travel sax for people disabled people that have um problems uh with like playing with a, a regular saxophone we we build the adaptive travel sax and we want to go one step further and now we are working with um, an association called Moragas, Jeroni Moragas, here in Barcelona, uh, which um, part of the process of assembling the travel sacks will be made by by this um, this collective uh, people that have some kind of of um, of disability, mental disability. So we are very very happy to share with you this because we have been working for a long time trying to get this this done and we <clears throat> we finally can can say that that it's a reality and part of of the the assembling process of the trial sacks uh it's done by them so that's that's something that we wanted to share with you guys and um and we are very happy we are also uh on our mission to try and 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 move to, towards um, a more sustainable uh, company, right? Um, trying to avoid um, as much the the unnecessary or, or useless, right? Or replaceable plastic parts. Of course, the travel sacks uh, mainly is done by uh, plastic, right? ABS and, 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 and PC. But we were also using um, some plastic on our uh, on our packaging, this is the the standard packaging that that we were using um, before, right? Which is cardboard but and plastic on top, and so we wanted to go one step further and um, and try and and change to a more sustainable packaging, which is this one. I hope you guys like it. Is um is a complete um, recyclable. Um, cardboard box and uh yeah i think it's super cool so from now on we will be sending the travel sacks with these um with this packaging right um st still inside you have the um, the stand that you can cut right if you cut these well there's a, a qr code inside here you can just take a, a picture of this QR code and there's a video explaining how to create um, a stand for your travel sacks, right? By cutting these, these lines that you see here and here and creating a stand uh, like this one that we used to, to build with the old uh, box, but with the new box. So um, this is something that, that we are 
also transition me too. So I hope you like the new design. I really like it. What else? Um, we are also working on on trying to 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 give us as many um, help right uh, as possible in terms of, of accessories right connectors. We we just we are now um, selling the USB C and and Lightning adapter right in case you guys want to connect the travel sacks to your iPad or your phone and use it as a MIDI controller using apps like GarageBand or, or um, uh, in, in the, in, in the, for people that are using Android phones, they can use BandLab, right? Uh, if you connect it, the travel sacks via Bluetooth to your phones or iPad, you will get a, a bit of latency, but if you are plugging it with these uh, special connectors, right, you are, um, getting no latency um so yeah this is something that we are also selling and we have other ideas down the line that we would like to share with you brainstorm and see if, if you guys um think that that could be useful and if you think so we may include them in a near future um to try and help you with your practice and and your practice routines and even your performance routines so I'm just gonna um, transition to um, to some ideas that we have and would like to share with you. Uh, let me, yeah. So the first one is is this one. This is a clicker, right? Mainly, what what is 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 very useful. You you, you connect it via Bluetooth or I think Wi-Fi to to your um, iPad or or even to your computer and with this clicker right you can change um the the pages if you're side uh, side reading for example on a concert and you have your notes you can do that um without trying to if you can keep playing right the the travel sacks with your hands and with with your foot you can press this clicker and just it's it, it changes the page i have a, a video here for you to show like this you can see that you can change um your your uh chord charts or or your yeah this is a uh I, th I think this is a good feature that could help you guys on 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 your stage or even at home practicing that's something that that we think that can be helpful there's also these kind of uh, adapters that you can just plug your iPad or your phone and and put it on on the mic stand in case you are performing live or even in the car if you're um, just traveling around and someone is driving and you want to practice um, using your iPad or your phone these kind of adapters are very useful so um, that's another idea that we have. This, this is the kind of adapters that we are talking about. You can find them in Amazon too, right? But, but yeah, that's something that, that we think it can be useful. Then we also are, um, so people that are playing live, for example, and they want to use the building uh, sound of the travel sacks, but they want to go, um, uh, cable less, right? Like wireless, let's say. Uh, you know that you cannot hear, uh, you cannot use the Bluetooth uh, technology for that because there's a, there's latency, but there's these um, radio jacks that are used mainly for guitar players, right? Uh, so you connect one, you connect the adapter, this adapter that you see, the mini jack adapter to a jack, and then you have the a meter that you would connect it to the travel sacks and then the receiver on the um, on the um, uh, DJ um, on the on, on the um, uh, mesa de mezclas I don't know the, the name in English the the mixing board right 
So that's something quite quite nice. Also, you can even plug it into an amplifier or yeah, um, this I have a, yeah, you could see how, how it works. There's a video. So this is my my colleague Carlos trying this um, this this gadget and and he was using it live and it was it was working perfectly. Um, he was using it, connecting it directly to the um, to the mixing board. Um, then we are also thinking of of uh, maybe adding in ears because as you may see, uh, not everyone right now has cable, um, good quality cable um, headphones. And if you want to practice with your travel sacks, um, you cannot use Bluetooth, as, as you know. So uh, it's, 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 it's nice to have some kind of, of in-ears or... So yeah, that's also another idea that we have down the line. Um, it would be great if you guys have any any further ideas that you want to share with us that that you might think that could be helpful for for you to practice even even better um and uh yeah i'm going to jump into into the question um the q and a that we have so far andreas hi oh right before andreas we have um, how to connect via cable between Travel Sax 2 and iPad instead of Bluetooth? Um, hi, the uh, DAC to lose. It's <laughs> um, so basically, it's it's very easy as 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 you could see uh, using one of these adapters, right? Um, we we are we are selling those. If if you can also you can also buy them uh, in Amazon. Um, you you can connect the travel sacks so you would connect this adapter to your phone like this and then you just put the um, the charging cable the the one that we provide uh, this one Oops. so the one that we provide this um, charging cable we just put it here Okay, like this, and then this goes to the travel sacks, like this. Okay, then you open the app. Um, you open the, let's say, for example, I'm gonna open the Swam app. Okay, and then I just blow. Uh, wait, I need to select here. Yeah. Now I'm I'm using both. Well, you can hear. I'm just gonna mute the sounds of the travel sacks with the special fingerings like this. And now the sound is coming just from the travel sacks. Um, without latency. That's the cool thing about using um, these kind of adapters, right? Um, you don't have latency and you can use these really nice sounding uh, programs for your phone, okay? Um, I hope I I answered your question. Andreas, a question as much to us what watchers of the YouTube session as I'm on. I'm curious to see how reviewers will compare Travel 2 to the new Yamaha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm really curious too. I hope that uh, David wins over Goliath both the smaller digital sacks and the smaller company 
might TS2 or TS3 have for gain comparative advantage that warrant the higher price? Well, we have already done our comparison with, with a Yamaha um, YDS120 and it's pretty it's a pretty different uh, different instrument um it's huge i mean compare in terms of size 100 the 120 it's almost the same as the ydS 150 it's very very big so it's almost three times the size of of the travel sacks it has um it doesn't have bluetooth capability so basically you cannot play uh, backing tracks um, through the the saxophone uh, and and we and and the travel sax can and when then you can also there are all other other important features like the pressure sensors um, that that YDS one hundred twenty has versus our our um, optical sensors and and so there are different um, different um, features that really makes the difference in our in our opinion um but yes it's 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 very very challenging uh, because we are directly competing with with a huge uh, great company which is yamaha uh, and hopefully our 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 difference on design and capabilities still matches the the expectations of of our customers so hopefully this this happens um andrea hi andrea i have a ydS 150 and a travel sax 2 same feeling of keys only difference is a visual panel with volume and different sound settings travel sax is a third of the length so much better for traveling yeah andrea and there's also something important in my opinion we do have rollers uh, on the on the keys right the yamaha doesn't have rollers so in my opinion for me it's is a bit um well it's it's for me it's very important at least to have rollers um because it helps you um move more smoothly um yeah there are some some different um some different things right that that they are having um, the clicker is great, but um, make it soundless so that the click does not disturb. Lots of the other have an audi audible click. Yeah, good, good feedback, Andreas. Yeah, excellent ideas. I highly appreciate the multiple aspects of inclusion orientation. Great, thank you. Uh, yes, we we are for for us is very 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 important that that um, our company is inclusive and as much as as possible so yeah this is something that we are really really working on um so so yeah uh, hopefully we can we are starting but but we can get really far helping a lot of musicians with disabilities to actually play live music uh, with our travel sacks and also giving uh, disabled people the op the opportunity to also be part of of this amazing um project that needs to go uh spread all over the world so guys if you like the travel sacks the users the heavy users please um help us spread the word if you're happy with the with um with your travel sacks try and and talk to other saxophone players um and 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 help us uh, spread this the word in the community so Yamaha is not crushing our company. <laughs> um, what else? Please, um, it's a, an open Q and A code. Um, so please ask any questions that you want to know about the travel sacks, about the functionalities, about anything, guys. That's that's the time to to do so. Um, agreeing with the like to lose. <laughs> Odyssey commitment to social responsibility in several ways and listening to us users are two great comparative advantages. Well, we are trying for us. It's very, very important, guys, your feedback. That's why we are doing these sessions. Um, it's we want to be as close as possible to you to get um, to keep improving our our products to 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 get 
as to, to, to give us as much value as possible so that you guys can actually improve your playing, improve, improve your, um, your learning skills, anything related to saxophone. That's, that's our mission, right? We want to, we want to create more music all around the world and by help, but just by using technology, um, and innovation, uh, that really helps musicians um, develop their, their music skills. So that, that's, that's our mission. So hopefully we're, we are on the, on the right path. M P A, uh, M far sax. Sorry for the names you are using really, um, complex, uh, usernames for me to, to pronounce. So, um, apologies on that. Could you please demonstrate the flute baritone sax by bass clarinet and trumpet bass sound? Yeah, of course. I'm just gonna do a demo of the different sounds uh, using the the app, the the iPhone app, so you can hear how it works. That's the uh, soprano sax. You can see here. Let's see. Oops. Here. This is the soprano sax. And it's sounding through my um through the speakers of my um iPhone. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to move to a, let me see. Tenor saxophone. This is a tenor saxophone. <laughs> Oh, okay. Wait, I'm going to put the noise cancellation out. So, so you guys can hear what I'm playing. Again, that's uh, the tenor saxophone. It's from tenor saxophone. Okay, what else? Um, clarinet, bassoon. Uh -huh. Settings, audio options. to put the presets okay I'm trying to open the baritone sound <laughs> the swam uh, barry saxophone the tenor i have already tried it out this is the bass clarinet uh, what's going on Let's see Um, 
trying to see velocity. I'm not able to to play the um, the clar the bass clarinet. I'm not. I don't know why. I'm trying to see what's going on. <clears throat> I'm gonna try another one and see what's what happens. Um, that's the trombone, alto trombone. That's pretty much the ones I have installed. Swamp Trumpet, for example. I hope you got um, uh, just to make sure. Great. So yeah, that, that's more or less the, the ones I have installed on my phone to demo. Just to make sure as to connection, is it not feasible to, to use just a cable with... No, it's not. You need, um, you you need an adapter, a special adapter, an OTG adapter. It's very important that, that it's OTG because it's, it's, um, it's a cable that needs to transfer MIDI files, right? and just a normal cable doesn't, right? So it's very important that you have this, right? Amongst other accesses, can you add a 90 degrees bend for uh, us baritone players? Okay, we will, we will work on that. I recently came across iOS app Sensual Saxophone. Has anyone tried to integrate a MIDI pedal for FX as pitch bending? Could you kindly follow up on this later? Um, we will we will check that uh, sensual saxophone app. I think I use I used it long time ago with when we were using the Travel Sax One, which which was which had an um, building sounds, and and it was it was a quite good one. So um, yeah, it sounds pretty good, but I would recommend you also using the um, the Garage Band <clears throat> Garage Band app which is very nice too you have lots of really cool sounds on these on this app and it's free for any um any apple user hi marcelo saludos see sí. so guys um if you don't have any more questions i'm gonna jump to the spanish one uh, the spanish q a uh session that's happening right now Again, thank you so much for your um, interest, support. Um, we are working hard to try and 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 bring more capabilities to the app, to the travels ad itself, right? Um, and and we are working hard to to always try and innovate and, and create um, useful tools to really help you um, become better musicians and, and practice more and create more music in the world. So again, thank you so much. Please write us any further questions that you may have down the line. We are really, really, really easy. Um, re we are really, really reachable, easy, easily reachable. Instagram, WhatsApp, uh, YouTube, whatever you need. Um, just send us an email, uh, WhatsApp to us, uh, Facebook, Instagram, okay? And, and we will be here to help. And again, thank you so much for your support. And I hope you guys have a great uh, day. Bye-bye.